Now, most of the time they mount on the mirror. I didn't have anything really to bite on because it's a flat camera. And I don't like the way my mirrors shake when, I, when it idles. So what I did is something a little bit unique. I mounted them on the fenders. Now there's a lot of solid fiberglass here, so it's, it's, it's gonna be really good. It's not gonna bounce. Um, and the view is outstanding because you got the view right here. And the same thing right here, I mounted on the other fender. And what's cool about this is um, it's solid. When you're idling, your mirrors vibrate. These don't vibrate right here. Now there's different ways to do it. Some mirrors are better than others. Mine's an older truck and they vibrate. So I, uh, and plus I wanted them, I just wanted, plus they look cooler. This is where I mounted the DVR. I made the wires as clean as I can on the bottom. Now the thing I like about this, it has the screw on ends so they don't fall out when you're bouncing around in the truck. Bounce, see, you can't just pull them out. I like that a lot. This is like a cast aluminum. It's not plastic, it's like a casing, aluminum casing. And I mounted mine right here on the top, on the um, top of the truck here, where I can get to the SD cards if needed. I know people say, well, don't mount it here because of theft. Well, I'm more into accidents. If something happens in an, a wreck, I want to know. I want to be able to pull those cards out quick, unlock it quick. Now I mounted the front camera right here. It's nice and solid, right in a dash. It's not going anywhere. Put four screws right in my dash. I didn't like doing that, but what the heck. I put the wire through the dash, drill the hole, and it comes up from under here. And all I did is just laid the GPS on my dash right here. Because I have this visor on the top, right here, I can put it, I can kind of get the GPS through the corner. Seems seems to work pretty well right there. I mounted the camp the monitor right on the dash there. Drill a little hole up in there. Ran our wire underneath the dash, all the way down under here. And you know we're in an RV. I wanted to see the RV too. If Ian bought when I bobtail around, I could see the back. But we put the camera right there, right on the top. We just drill a little hole, put two screws, nice and simple. Now running the wires can be a little tough. Like anything, GPS, screens, any kind of screens, usually usually it's a little on the tough side because running wires is hard. I don't care what, what, what you have. It's going to take time. Um, but it pays off in the long run. The DVR is going to fire up. And there you have all four cameras. You have the rear view when you bobtail. You have the right side. You have the left side. And you have the front view. What's really cool is it comes with a cool controller. Um, this controller is actually pretty neat. What it has, the, the feature I love the most is this zero key down here. Because if you hit the zero key, it changes, it changes your views. See the side views right there? You can see, you can actually run your camera like that on each side. And you get four, and then you get the front and back. I think that's pretty cool. And what's neat about this system is you can actually hook it up so when you turn your key on or start, you start your truck up, the unit starts up automatically, boots up, and starts recording automatically. Another option is you can actually put a switch in or you can direct hardwire it to a always on 12 volt source. And when you turn the key on or start the truck, when you shut it off, the system will still be running. You can put like a little cheap switch in and switch it on off. I'm going to do that eventually. I didn't do that right now, but I'm going to do that eventually because we have 200 watts of solar on the roof and a lot of batteries and this should be able to run around the clock. So wherever you're at, if you go in from the in a rest stop, because we have to go to rest stops with this RV, it's so massive. Um, we have to go right where, where, where the truckers go. So that's why I thought it was pretty neat to have because I can actually um, hire this, wire this always on the system and it'll always be on. And if you look right here, there's the lights right here. It tells you what the SD cards flashing, one and two. It actually has two SD cards right here. There's one and two. So if you get an accident, you can actually pull that out right away and um, have uh, access to your data. You can play it back through the monitor too. Either way, if you have a laptop on board, you can put it right in your laptop, have a big screen, and you can burn a CD for the police. Another thing I like about this, it runs off DC power. A lot of DVRs run off AC power, and you have to convert it with an inverter, and that takes a lot of battery to do that. A lot of battery power, so it runs off DC, it's direct to your battery basically, and that draws less power. It draws very little power, I've already tested it. Actually, I can tell you right now, I ran it off this flashlight, well, this uh, genius little backup thingy. And uh, has a lithium ion battery and it didn't touch it, it ran all night, no problem. All four cameras. So if this can hold it, your four two or four big what is it, D truck batteries, whatever there are in the back, they'll definitely hold it. They'll probably hold it all night. If you had to put this on accessory, you could or wire it direct with a switch and you can actually run it all night with the truck off. And it shouldn't be a problem. As long as you're gonna drive it in the morning, it should be fine. Now everybody's every truck is different, but mine I would feel comfortable with doing that, no problem. It would still start in the morning, as long as it wasn't a cold day. Now I'm going to start this truck up. I've been running this like crazy. 
and it's been kind of uh, cloudy out, real cloudy, so my solar hasn't been working well. And I've been running this for about three days installing it, and I have not started this truck yet. So let's see three days on the battery off and on, you know, not three days straight, three days off and on without any sun from the solar charging the batteries. Let's see how this truck still starts up from running that camera system. Start it right up, guys. <laughs> 